Welcome back. I went out shopping. The fridge is full of food. Can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Nope. Hey. Won't become closer yet. Don't care. Ah. Uh. Oh, hey. Oh, senpai. Hey, are you going to be doing anything after school today? You spend the day with Rise? Nah, sorry. Oh. I see. What will you do after school? Uh, hang out with fucking Adachi. Let's fucking go. So I just, I need to make sure that we can't hang out with Adachi, or we don't have to hang out with Adachi during the day. Okay, good, good, good. That's all I needed. So now we can go back to high school, we can hang out with I. Who the fuck are you? Well, if it isn't transfer, dude, don't tell me you have detention. Better get going, gonna be late for work. Paychecks for diligence and knowledge, man. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. You. What do you want? Relationship with I isn't ready to advance yet. <laughs> Fuck no. You suck. I hate you. Self-centered cunt. I wanna push. It's so tempting, but I can't. I'm an idol. Uh, senpai, <laughs> you weren't listening, were you? you? Free today? Let's go out somewhere. Is going to become closer soon. Will you spend the afternoon with Rise? Let's fucking go! Uh -huh. Where shall we go? Rise looks happy. The hill overlooking town. You came here at Rise's request. As she says she likes it here. When I first got to town, I used to sit here and do nothing. I would just listen to the sound of the river. The sound of the birds. The sound of the rain. I could... I felt I could forget Rizette. And find myself that way. But... Senpai... Have you ever thought that you're pushing yourself too far? That you were just acting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really? Then <laughs> you might even be a better actor than me. But I see. I've been through a lot too. Seems Rise is a bit relieved. I feel like I've been able to relax after coming to Inaba. Meeting all of you. Laughing together, watching the store, reading comics, playing with the cat. You have a cat? Yo. When I was at my parents' house, I was on my best behavior around them. Oh, but grandma doesn't ask anything. You know, like why I quit or what I'm thinking of doing next. God. She just talks about tofu. She says, I'm like tofu. I had to ask her what that meant. The way she explained it, Tofu looks weak and fragile, but it's actually pretty resilient. Even though it stands out because it's not like any other food, it can be mixed in with any recipe or flavor. Tofu is incredible. I'm nothing like that. I... I was actually bullied at school before I made my debut. I wasn't good at talking, always looked at my feet. I was alone the entire time. But I didn't have a problem with that. 
no one expected anything of me. And then, the application my relative sent without telling me passed the first audition. I wasn't interested in being an idol, but I wanted the chance to change myself. And just by chance, I won. <laughs> when it happened, I panicked, thinking maybe I should turn their offer down. Then I thought, if I appeared on TV, I could make friends. That was literally the only reason I went through with it. After a while, I realized something. What, that you have terrible posture? And so do I. Why does my character not fucking sit up straight. The person everyone likes, the one they say hi to on the street, it's not the real me. Rosette is the one everyone likes. The fictional character they sold the public. It's the same with you, isn't it? You don't have to deny it. I won't be mad. You're with me right now because I'm Rosette, yeah? <laughs> Fucking... I didn't even know who you were. Until you got fucking kidnapped. I'm sorry. <laughs> that wasn't a fair question. You think I'm lying? You... Are you accusing me of lying? But I'm happy you said so. Risei smiles weakly. When I got back to school after my debut, no one bullied me. I was happy at first, people I didn't even know talking to me. But they weren't suddenly interested in Risei Kujikawa. They wanted to hang out with the Rosette. The bullying stopped, but I felt like none of them saw the real me. In my heart, I've always thought, this isn't the real me. Funny, huh? I was the one who wanted to change, and... <laughs> but none of that matters now. I'm done being Rosette. Now I have people who know the real me. Plus, I have power that can help everyone. I love that. This time, I'm going to change into a Rise that everyone can like. Keep an eye out for her, senpai. Yeah, okay. I'm still not gonna buy your fucking merch. If this is all just like some big scam, Healing wave. All party members will recover a small amount of HP at the end of a battle. Ooh, nice. I'll see you later, senpai. Senpai. Welcome back. Ah, oh, I see Dojima ain't here. Don't check the don't check the fridge. Don't do it. Don't say it, don't think it. Not that. Don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it. Yo, what's good, Adachi? Oh, what a coincidence. What are you doing out so late? It's dangerous, you know? Go home. Adachi seems to be on his way home from work. You feel, uh, going to become closer soon. Spend the evening with Adachi. Yo, what's good, Adachi? <laughs> you must have a lot of time on your hands. Dojima Sen will be on your ass, you know. Well, I'm not the one who needs to be fucking detecting. Dick. Shopping district. Souls I die cover. Uh, I knew it. Stores out here closed too soon. I got off work early, so I thought I'd make something. But then I got lazy. This is bad. What should I do? I have tons of nimono at home. Nimo nimono? Nimono? I don't know. Why, Toru-chan? How is work? Are you still working hard? No, 
Ugh. Oh, hi. Yeah, I just got off. Have you had dinner yet? You're young. You need to eat up. Would you like to come out of come to my house? I'm making your favorite. Mono. Uh, uh today I I've got a uh That's right. I promised this kid I'd eat dinner with him. Uh he's my boss's nephew, so I can't say no. <laughs> Maybe next time. Oh, that's too bad. Well, next time then. Uh, good night. <sighs> she really sucks away my will to live. Can you imagine how awkward dinner would be? Just me and her? I don't really like her Nimono. Anyway, the lotus root is too tough. What the fuck is Nim uh, Whatever. Oh, uh, sorry for using you like that. You were a big help. Stewed veggies. I was a big kelp. I, it just doesn't. I feel like this is a joke that doesn't translate well. Hey, why don't you hang out for real? Huh? Dojima sense? Oh, well, isn't that a generous offer? Adachi is looking at you in surprise. But Dojima-san's still at work, right? Does that mean it'll just be us? Isn't that weird? Nanako will be happy. Really? <laughs> You're such an older brother now. I think I've seen Nanako Chan smile a lot more since you moved here. Adachi seems to have been thinking about Nanako's welfare. Well, I'm interested to see what you're like as a cook. When I was in high school, I never gave cooking a single thought. Now what'd you do instead? <laughs> I just studied and studied. It was a pretty good school where your grades really mattered. I didn't mind though. You get back as much as you put in. Everyone knows that. My parents didn't care what else I did. As long as my grades were good too. That works out when you're a student. You don't enjoy yourself now? <laughs> I don't know. Grown-ups have a lot on their plates. And Hitachi gives a tired smile. But I guess lately, things have been fun. It's nice to know that there's something I'm good at. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Adachi seems to be working hard on solving the case. You feel like you know Adachi a bit more. Rank 3! So uh, we need rank 6 by November 6th. Oh, uh, we were talking about dinner. Sorry, not today. Maybe next time. See ya. By November 1st? Okay. I'll just stop by someplace on my way back. You make sure to hurry home. Parted ways with, uh, ways with Adachi. DM's got a photo of Nintendo. Let's see here. The fuck is this poster? Oh. Nice! Ew, you're using pins. You should get, like, an actual poster thing. Oh, that looks pretty good. I imagine a lot of it would get kind of, uh, you know, grading, but... fuck is this? SCP-5167. Uh, Foundation web crawlers are to monitor online communities for mentions of potential SCP-5167 sightings 
In cases where these sightings are confirmed, all direct witnesses are to be apprehended and all secondary evidence removed from the platform in question. SCP-5167 uh, is an entity known to manifest as a player. The online multiplayer game Among Us under the username Thonus will randomly join multiplayer lobbies of the game and participate as an ordinary player would with the majority of its anomalous effect only becoming obvious following the initial encounter. During this initial encounter, uh, has been observed to communicate using in-game chat function. Consists of lengthy diatribes produced at little prompting from other players. What the fuck? Subsequently, paranoia. Capgrass delusion. Capgrass delusion. Severity of these symptoms varies from person to person. Persist for a period until several months. What the fuck? This is fucking weird. <laughs> but it's an Among Us, like, person. Player. It's not even, like, a character. It's just a player. Jesus Christ. All right. Back to the video game. <clears throat> Classes have ended for today. You're waiting for Naoto to recover. You know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for that Mega Beef Bull Challenge! And by that, I mean, I want to see if uh, anyone's available to hang before I check the Mega Beef Bowl challenge. Nope. Okay. Something inside. I made this in home ec. Muscle drink. Nice. God, it, it does kind of suck that you can't do fucking anything when it's raining. Okay, what do you need? You're starting to have the look of a real intellectual. That's great. Say, do you have a moment? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Yeah, what's good? Uh, I've gone and bought myself a huge bookcase. Now I can treasure my books on display after I've read them. I'm going to stop giving you pieces from my collection. Sorry. Well, I'll give you one more. But this is the last time. Will you hear me out? Yeah, what's good? You'll listen? Thank you. This isn't really a request. Think of it as a game. I want to see if you remember what my books have taught you. Okay. Let's go. You'll have to answer four questions in a row, all right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Question one. What fact isn't told in the gentle way? Judo medalist names? That sounds kind of fucking useless. Correct. Uh, what is the, is the book The Punk's Way cover? How one punk lived his life. Right? It's two? How one should live as a punk? Okay. Correct. Way to go. Uh, guide a pest. How many pages were used per pest? Fucking, I don't know. Is two again? All right. Just a little longer. In Pacross Rules, what's the solution to the gold medal winning puzzle? Me. Amazing. You got all of them right. Uh, it really is surprising. To be honest, I didn't think you could get all of those. You really did read all the books I gave you. I'm so happy. It's fun to read a book, but I realize that it's fun to talk to someone about books too. 
I learned this because of you. So thank you. Received. Who am I? Yeah, I remember that one because it's fucking awful. Like, come on. Knowledge Diligence? That's pretty good. Speaking of knowledge and diligence. Ayya. Ayya. Oh, welcome back. How you doing, Nanako? You doing well? Let's go harvest some fucking vegetables. I realize it's raining, but fuck it. They look yummy. Yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> but you don't have any seedlings. Um, how many pages is it, or how many readings? Is it five chapters, four chapters? Oh fuck it. You received a text message. It's from Kanji. Hello, senpai. Do you like movies? Uh, there's this new movie out called, uh, The Chico Story. And I'm just a sucker for movies about dogs. If you're going to see it, uh, would you let me know so I can come too? Uh, the movie Kanji wanted to watch is now being shown at the theater. Yo. We watching Air Bud? Let's see here. Who am I? Okay, so it's only two. Knowledge and diligence. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, I never read Guide to Pests or The Punk's Way. That's probably why I didn't fucking know. <laughs> Alright. Began reading, Who am I? The connections between gods, the truth of the universe, and human life is detailed in this book. In fact, the lack of basic explanation makes the material quite difficult to follow. You read your book as the rain spatters against the window. Your knowledge has greatly increased. Yes! We are now... Masterful in knowledge. Day off from school, wait for Naoto's recovery. Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. Yeah, what's good, Chie? Hey, let's go out today. Hmm. Today's a Sunday. I need to hang out with Death. Haven't bought anything right. Peach battle suit. We already have one. Wasabi jelly. Red goldfish and breadcrumbs. Definitely the red goldfish and breadcrumbs. Go catch some bugs real quick. Actually, what do you have? Uh, tomato ceiling, daikon. Ret I don't need return daikon. So much money on those bead melon seedlings. It grew fine. Dried mullet row as fertilizer. Can't you even cut fruit properly? Maybe fruit was too advanced for me to handle. 
doesn't look very healthy. Dude, that dog is going to die, and it will be all our fault. Let's go feed the cat. I've been forgetting to feed the cat. It, which is kind of funny, because I never forget to feed my cats in real life. Like, once in a blue moon do I forget to feed my cats. The cat hungers. I hunger. Run, coward. Run. Fucking... What are you doing here, Teddy? Fuck off! Aren't you supposed to be, like, harassing Nanako or something? Get out of here. Catch some bug. He swung the net with perfect timing. How many bugs did we catch? Four. As always. Actually, speaking of the healthy dog, I probably should take my... my one-a-day vitamins. I have not been taking them daily. <laughs> oh yeah, any new books? Any books, Aya? Sensei's friends. Bullied teacher increases understanding, but my understanding's already at maximum. We'll buy it anyway. All right. Um, let's talk to Marie. Huh? Won't deepen just yet. Isn't ready to advance just yet. Isn't ready to advance just yet. Um. So we have a choice here. So Chie is rank 7, Rise is rank 5. Marie's rank four. All right. Unfortunately, maybe not so unfortunately. Yeah. Hey. I want to go somewhere. Take me out. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hurry. Let's go take me out. Take me out. Take me out. Let's go to Hot Topic. I want to go to Hot Topic. Central Shopping District. Spend some time. It's going to become closer soon. Good. Good, good, good. You're back. You're back. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. I'm sure it is. It's going to become closer soon. Let's fucking go. Ah. Uh. Oh, right. The Death Arcana. I forgot about the Death Arcana. About various things. Mm. I'm going to sleep. Uh. Oh, it's this late already. Good night. Yeah. You said you would read me a book before bed. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's right. I got it. I got it. Just a few pages. Oh no. Hold on. Dojima. Ichihara san. Yes. Yes. That means. Uh, well, if it's okay with you, I can be there in just a few. I understand. Goodbye. Dad, are you leaving? 
It's my job. He said he'd read me a book. I can do that anytime. <laughs> Except for all the time that you don't. One's any time, huh, asshole? Ooh, well... Tojima is smiling wryly. Are you two fighting? Y you can go, Dad. No, that's not it. I'm sorry, Nanako. What book do you want? It's okay? I promised. Come on, let's go, Nanako. Yo, we finally made it be a good dad! Let's go! Anika went to her room with Dojima. <sighs> Man, she made me read the whole thing. Let's talk. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> the phone call was from Ichihara-san. My former senpai. I'm having him run tests for Chisato's hit-and-run investigation. He was calling to me... He was calling to tell me that the test results are in. Judging by his tone, he didn't find anything the police haven't already come up with. I know going over there won't change the test results, but... Dojima looks severely disheartened. It was a white sedan. Sedan. Most likely large and American. As expected, no such car is registered in Inaba. No records of one being repaired or scrapped either. Worst case scenario, the car is out of the country by now. It scares me that I couldn't catch the perp. That I'll never have an outlet for this sick feeling. That I'll just have to swallow it. Every time I look at Nanako, every time I notice ways she looks like her mother, I feel like my face is being pushed down into reality, and it scares me. Huh. I never thought I'd be talking to you about this. Dojima confided in you. You feel you understand Dojima more. I know I can't stay this way forever. While you're still here, I need to phase myself. I'll help you with that. Uh, alright. We're done talking about blood now. Hey, we still have a little time left. I guess I'll keep talking then. Speaking of blood, do you know what dragon's blood is? <laughs> it's nothing like a fantasy novel. Not actually the blood of a dragon. Uh, dragon's blood is bright red resin taken from a plant called Dra Dracana. Yeah, Dr 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 Dracana. Uh, it was valued in the old days as an almighty medication, and it actually has the ability to reduce inflammation. Uh, do people of old... Uh, the people of old were such romantics to call a tree resin dragon's blood. <laughs> Listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Too bad I'm fucking... I'm the internet, motherfucker. I've got that shit downloaded in my brain. I know. I know everything. Oh, hey, Yosuke wants to hang. I mean, he's already rank 8. Are we gonna rank up soon? Yo! Isn't ready to advance yet. Nah, sorry. S 
Oh, hey, Yukiko. Just the person I wanted to see. Isn't busy right now. Isn't ready to advance. That's fine. All right. Uh, and by that, I mean, I need to go feed a stray cat real quick. And also catch some bugs. It's very important, I swear. Oh, hey, Kaji. All right. Hit that whip and nay nay. You swung the net with perfect timing. How many bugs did you catch? Tatsuhime, Yaso, Tatsuhime, Mayo. Mayo? Mayonesu! Wow! Wow! Um, let's go feed that cat. Feed that cat. All right, nice. Dojima residence. Uh, no, no, no. We, we're, going, we're going back to Yasugami. We could ride bikes with what's his nuts, but nah. Oh. We, we just need to spend time with Yukiko because we're going to have to yeah. rank her up eventually. She's also one of our lowest social links currently. Ah, God, my ass sore. I've been streaming for nearly eight hours. Spend time walking around with Yukiko. You're back. So you're home. So I am. Rank seven. All right, all right. Oh, we need to go read. Reading's good. We need to finish that one book. Who am I? Knowledge has significantly increased. Diligence has significantly increased. Your diligence has changed from thorough to rock solid. One stat left. All right, great baton work. It's the most important part of a relay. Keep practicing. It doesn't matter how fast you run, if you drop the baton, you'll lose valuable time. Just keep passing that baton until you reach the anchor. It's fundamental, but difficult. <laughs> By the way, the word anchor was originally used in a different track and field sport. Hmm, how about a question for Cold? Why is it always me? Which of these sports also uses an anchor? Oh, fuck if I know. Shot put? Just fucking tug of war? What? I don't know. Tug of war? Oh, yeah. I'm real well versed in fucking all of these sports. Uh, the player sporting the end of the rope was acting as an anchor, and was thus called so. It crossed over into other sports, and so the last runner in a relay is also called that. All right, one more time, with common as the anchor. Ready, go! You answered correctly. Knowledge is increased. Doesn't matter. Already at max. It's raining! It's raining.
We just have one stat that we need to increase. Just one. Just one. Uh, is it even worth doing the Mega Beef Bowl challenge? If we're only getting one stat to increase? Because they don't go past max, right? Maybe I should go fishing. And level my understanding through other means. Hmm. Hmm. I need some fish. And that's just facts. Yes! Ideal. Six. Perfect. Yeah, let's go to Samagawa. What is it, Tuesday? Okay, that's good. Ayya, ayya. Cat's not gonna be here because it's raining. Do you actually get a fishing bonus on the day it's raining? On days that it's raining? I have no clue. All right, so we need uh, Genji Ayu. Thanks. <laughs> we got Amber Seema. Five more attempts. Yo, let's go. get huge fish. That's a huge fish. More Amber Seema. I feel like I, I feel like the first one was supposed to be the more common one. Like the first one it lists. Or Amber Seema. Yeah, more Amber Seema. Yeah. Beans. Yeah, put the beans on it. Woo! Chili dogs. Woo! Yeah! Amber Seema. Fucking, 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 fuck. Let's go 
tropical plant. Plus 20 SP is pretty good. Alright, so we need stuff that increases... What, what is it? Fucking... Understanding? Not social link. Alright, what, what, what was this fucking stat? Yeah, understanding. Was it understanding? Yeah, understanding. Okay. I don't know why I'm doubting myself. I literally just saw it. You began reading Sensei's Friends. The story is about a weak-willed milk toast of a teacher who's blah, 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 blah. It's a sitcom-like story with the cowardly teacher and his companions, the snooty teacher, the shady teacher, and the hot teacher. You are filled with tender feelings. Yes, but your understanding is increased. Since these friends, your understanding is increased. Yes! Achievement unlocked. Mr. Perfect. Let's fucking go! Midterms are starting on Friday next week. Are you guys studying hard or hardly studying? Hmm? Well, let's get back to basics then. Let's look at the world map. Take note that Japan is on the center of the Japanese maps. Other countries center their maps in different places. Where would you find Japan on a map made in a foreign country? Let's see... Amagisa. No, I feel about it about that. So... Hanamura. What? I would feel bad for asking Yukiko, but not me. I don't even know what he's talking about. Do you know the answer, Common? It's on the right edge. Oh, you got it! I believed in you, really. Yes, in foreign world maps, Japan is placed on the eastern edge. <laughs> it's not even on the map. <laughs> now you know why they call this part of Asia the Far East. Foreign maps are designated to be, uh, centered on the prime meridian at zero degrees of longitude. Oh, I see. Thanks, Kamen. Yosuke appreciates you. It's not even on the map. Japan isn't real! We figured it out, boys! Alright. So now that we have maxed all of our stats, there's only one thing to do. Let's. Fucking go! Central Shopping District. Chinese diner. Aya. You accepted the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. Still can't see the rice. You begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face this unrelenting tide of beef and the diligence to persevere against this colossal challenge. All of these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. However, you are confident you can finish it. You finished your meal! You tried your best to finish the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge, and your personality has grown tremendously. Your understanding has increased, your courage has increased, your diligence has increased. Aya! I'm amazed you finished that entire thing. Since you ate it all, your meal is free. Achievement unlocked. Food fighter.
We did it, boys. And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Enaba region later tonight. <laughs> Dub's so big, I can't see anymore. You'll love to see it. it seems fog will set in tonight. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Delivery for you. Red goldfish combo. Nice. Nothing yet to do, right? All right, we're going to watch the uh, Midnight Channel, right? That's just what's going on. Let's go see. It's midnight. The fog has set in. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Naoto has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. Meanwhile, in the foggy shopping district. Damn it. Again? Dude, he was trying the Mega Beef Bull challenge. He knows. Oh, hey. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. Don't mention it. But hey, your uniform. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to... Hey, it's the Detective Prince. <laughs> That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Uh, oh, crap! <laughs> uh, kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. Yeah, I'm disappointed too. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? Cool? Oh my god, I pass. My, my. Rumors spread so quickly. We're on your side. Thank you. But it doesn't bother me at all. There's no need to worry on my behalf. So please, treat me as you did before. No, I'm mad you don't have a penis. That aside, I'd like to discuss the case with you all. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. Yes. And it isn't over yet. Let's go over the finer points after school. Makes sense. <laughs> like, I like how they had the exclamation points above their heads as if that was a surprise. Like, we know. First, I heard the doorbell ring. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Okay. Wow, how could you remember all that? The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. I had been expecting a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. No wonder you're an ace detective! That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. No, no use getting Judging flustered. By their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. Yeah, okay. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. It's after that that things get murky. I felt a single impact, 
which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped? Oh, could there have been a TV on the side of the road? Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. I mean, is it completely, like, out of the question to say that some preparation was in order? Or, like, I don't know. I see. It's fucking weird. But, man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. Such a bizarre experience, with mental and physical fatigue on top of it, it's only natural to be confused. And going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. You know, except for Moraoka. So, that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron... Everything makes sense now. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. That's it! That's what was bothering me! Yeah. Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. And remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time, what if I put my entire body into the TV? The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way. Which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However... Uh, we don't have that luxury. I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. That's a good point. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges. All the more so if the accused is a juvenile. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. Yeah. Even if it's possible there's another killer? They don't want to look bad. Those dickheads. I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. Never trust a fucking pig, honestly. But, uh, Naoto, <laughs> if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... I'm not saying you should have caught him, but isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? They're like 15. Yosuke. What the fuck? <laughs> if this is a grown man we're talking about... No, fuck off. Shut up, Yosuke. Um... Um... To tell you the truth, I was really scared. I'm sorry. Gun. It can't be helped. Yeah. None of us could resist the culprit either. Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. I mean, not that that has anything to do with it, but yes. Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. You know, Naoto? What is it? You got balls. For a girl. 
Ha. Regardless, I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Please allow me to join your effort. Nah, you don't have a penis. Sorry. Yeah, of course. Come on. Thank you very much. I'll do my best, leader. Uh, no need. No need to call me leader. The fool. Since I'm the king of the geniuses, I knew it would work out this way. I will put a fucking bullet through your brain and then fuck the hole, Teddy. I swear to God. Ta-da! Now Chan's glasses. Thank you. They told me about you, Teddy. I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. Wow, what a nice girl. I will shove your limbs up your ass. For now, you'll just have to wait for them to make their next move. Work as a janitor at the hospital today. Yeah, sorry, no. We've got more important things to do. Also, today's my birthday. Yo, Adachi, what's good? Oh. What are you doing out so late? I'm doing overtime, so it sucks to be a grown-up. Daytime. They wouldn't know if I slacked off a little. Oops. You should go home before it gets too late. Fuck. I can't... What? I can't hang out with Adachi. You aren't on the cusp of rank up. Okay. So how do you hang out with Adachi? Just going to June S? On Saturdays? Well, there's no fucking... Is it only Juness on Saturdays? Because he's not available any Saturdays. Thank you very much. This is an expression of my thanks. Please take this. Yasu Stone. Ah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Whenever the schedule says he's available. Okay. Ah, Jesus. See, he's supposed to be, quote-unquote, available today. But I didn't have today. Because, you know... Naoto. Whatever. Let's fucking hang out with Risei. What's good, Risei? Senpai. Oh, we shared an umbrella the other day. <laughs> Thought about that class later on and couldn't help but smile. I know it's a cliche, but I always dreamed about doing something like that. What do you dream about, Senpai? <laughs> you and me behind the bleacher. Fighting it out on the rooftop. 
What the fuck? I don't know. I dream about fucking... Yo, I dream about fucking... No way! Hardcore. Do you have a chip on your shoulder? I'm just surprised since you're usually so calm. Carrying an umbrella isn't that special. It's hardly compared to... From the scene of the drama. Uh, you completely different in real life. I think he is rank three. Like, I think we just hit rank three. Could become stronger soon. Nice. Oh, I want you. What? What did she give me? Rainbow something? Good night, Senpai. Excuse me. You aren't going to get it to Do six. Do you have time after school today? Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. A doctor? Yeah, I think that's a good... good. You mean a vet? The normal kind, actually. If you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. Wait, really? A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. Yeah. And I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. <laughs> Who fucking knows what happens when you're on the other side? We should see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had any negative effects on our health. Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. I agree. Negative effects? Don't drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. It's probably minor, Yosuke. But, yeah, I never even thought about that. I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Rise-san looked at as well. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? Her height's a big giveaway, though. <laughs> well, I'll see you all after school. Short. Everyone underwent a thorough physical examination at the hospital. Now to recommend it. Oh no! Are we gonna run into that was the just devil? an ordinary checkup? Huh, I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. No, I think that's astronauts, Kanji. Was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. Oh, they're back. I'm very sorry for the wait. Raising a Dachio to max just affects New Game Plus. Okay, good to know. I'm very sorry for the wait. I will actually tear all of your limbs off. So did they find out anything about Teddy? They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. Okay. I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. I mean, if it affects New Game Plus, fact of the matter is... No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. <laughs> Are you saying Teddy is... boneless? Hold on, no, no, that wasn't, that wasn't loud enough. Are you saying Teddy is... boneless? Boneless? I feel like this isn't loud enough. Are you saying Teddy is... BONELESS? <laughs> Holy shit. A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still worried about him. I felt bad for making them go through all this. No, there was a good reason for it. So he is different. 
Oh my. What should I do? Die. You should die. Please. They took a look at everything inside me. He's built different. She just said they could Yeah, he's see built like a piece of shit. Dork. But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. <laughs> Truth. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. Persona means something like another personality. Yeah. And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. God, fuck. I performed my own research after the incident. All right, it wasn't important. Persona and shadow are common psychological terms. Yes. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. This is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happen to come across. Happen. A shadow is suppressed power, and when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're, they're basically the same thing? Uh, yeah. It sounds like it. Well, then again, all those shadows we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. <laughs> the fucking stupid face. Cross-eyed looking Who ass. Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. They get in our way, I'll crush them. Yeah, let's go, Kanji. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. I don't know, probably... Given how the other world has been somewhat of a mirror to our own it wouldn't <sighs> surprise There's me so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about if each shadow i don't know there's some things we do know though yeah we know that we need to throw you off of a fucking cliff mhm mm i got a bunch of awesome data with me it's Kinda embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... What? Ta-da! Nowadays, information wants to be free. Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's physical exams. Oh, no. What? No, you won't! Give them to me now! Ooh! First place in the shortest legs division is... Huh, who would have guessed? No. It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? Look, if you're going to blab at all, you might as well tell us the girls' measurements. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you a complete nutter moron? Reese's are probably already listed somewhere. Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. Knew it. Oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. No, don't say mine. What's Naoto's, though? Aw, I, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. Don't, don't tease her, Rise. Come on. What? Oh yeah, Naoto Kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Naoto Kun's is. He's still saying Naoto Kun. Huh? Is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? I would imagine. You know how like if people like press. Yeah, you know, like typically you got the like whatever. Anyways, the important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. So we won't be needing these anymore. Yeah, thank you, Teddy. I'm going to go shred them. Thank you. Uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. I didn't want people knowing that I had a micro penis. Y you're right. Let's go home. After all that, they found out nothing about me. I wonder what I really am. 
What if Teddy is the mirror image of the killer? You know how... We'll find out together. After I fucking cut you open. Yeah. Thanks, Sensei. And fucking split your head open like a goddamn watermelon. Oh yeah, real nice. Glad you got that, Teddy. Hey! If you don't hurry, we're gonna leave you guys behind! Too bad you're not gonna have arms for very long. God, I fucking hate you! You're back. So you're home. Midterms start next Friday. Study? Question mark? Janitor at the hospital. Um... Yeah, we do want to go do janitor at the hospital. Hospital? It's a good time. Uh, let's go to the shrine. Actually, let's go to the shrine. Let's go check if that woman needs more fish. Hey, you need fish? Can you continue sharing your fish with us? Yeah, I'm fine with that. What's the lore behind that? Like, I, I really am interested in, like, a lot of the inspiration for some of the, the like, characters and stuff. Inaba Municipal Hospital. Hallway. You busily clean the dark, silent hallways. Huh? You thought you heard something from down the hall. You decided to pretend to not hear it and continue cleaning. Your courage has increased. Yeah, like I'm supposed to know what that means, Myth. Come on. Sayoko found you and brought you here. <laughs> Sayoko isn't saying anything. <laughs> Are we done here? So, so, myth, okay. A while ago, you said that negative responses are good. Do you mean... Like, against her? Be a dick? Alright. Are we done here? Wait. I didn't say you could leave. I'm sorry. There's no point in taking it out on you. I just got a call from the hospital I last worked at. The patient I was assigned to died. He was still just a little child. He always said he wanted to go to school, but it looks like he'll never get that chance. You know, <laughs> he proposed to me. I told him I'd think about it when he became an adult. But I... I forgot about him. When I transferred here, I was so busy, I thought about him once in a while, but soon I just forgot. But he was fighting for his life that entire time. <laughs> what am I doing? Think about what you did. You forgot that dying boy's wish. You piece of shit. 
Why can't I act like this to I? Come on, man. Seriously? Why did I transfer? When a patient gets better, I get left behind. But now I'm the one who's left a patient behind. There should have been something I could have done. Sayoko seems to be tormenting herself. Yeah. Yeah. She stayed quiet and watched her. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you came today. Sayoko looks at you needily. You feel that Sayoko trusts you. Okay. I'll do it. There has to be something, anything I can do. Goodbye. By the way, she's developing a conscious now. now, so being a dick isn't the move anymore. Oh, okay. Good thing rank 5 to 6 has no right or wrong choices. 8,000 yen? What the fuck? Why am I earning so much money? Oh, good morning, senpai. Exams start next Friday, but I am just not in the mood for schoolwork. The true killer is someone else, and we're the only ones who know that. If we don't act, the case will grind to a halt. Yeah, seriously. I'm having trouble. That isn't good. If your grades drop, Dojima-san may suspect that something is going on. Please, do your best on the tests for the sake of the case. Anyway, we can only wait for the culprit to make his move. We must not forget to check the Midnight Channel, too. This is a crucial moment. Yeah, all right. Good morning, everyone. Guess what? We're going to have exams at the end of next week. I hope that nobody in here has been uh, being an ostrich and goofing around without doing any studying. It's going to be a question about ostriches. Why did I say ostrich? Because it's a common metaphor for someone who avoids inconvenient truths. It comes from the common mistaken belief that ostriches bury their heads in the sand in the face of oncoming danger. To feel safe just because they can't see the problem is a sure sign of escaping from reality. Don't be like a fake ostrich. There's another kind of bird, though. That has a cowardly connotation in English. Lay it on me, cold. Oh, fuck. What's up? Be brave. Tell me what bird's name means coward in English. Chicken. You gonna be chicken? <laughs> yeah, it's chicken. Give the answer you think is correct. All right, that's correct. Chicken is a word for coward in English. Um, there are many theories as to why. Uh, you know how you get goosebumps when you're scared, right? Well, it looks like a de-feathered chicken skin. Wait, why are they called goosebumps and not chicken bumps? It doesn't matter. The point is, you need to face reality and boldly prepare for your test next week. You have the correct answer. I guess it doesn't really matter if we give the correct answer or not. We, we are literally at max stats. Whoa! It's... Reason. Yeah, it's getting it's getting late in the uh, year. Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke Senpai? Seriously, I was busy handing out flyers at Juness, and I'm about to be busy fucking kicking your ribs in. Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. Was there some kind of progress in the case? I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. Can you please keep this weekend open? Uh, yes. This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? What are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Oh my gosh! The famous 
Miss Kahneman is coming all the way out to the boonies? So she's taking on jobs like that already. Who? I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. So what's the big deal about that being canceled, Yosuke-senpai? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! She's literally only prevalent in the dancing game. Oh, okay. It's not a joke. The police took forever to decide on canceling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. So you don't want to be short-staffed for the weekend, so you lose out on... Okay, yeah, I get it. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. I'm sorry. This is my fault. Not even. Shut up. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. Shh, you too, Yosuke. Fuck off. Okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Oh, God. Um, Risa-san... Well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. You want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> Is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I going to do if that happens? Singing and handshakes only. Yo! No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. Me too. I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. Can Teddy please be left out of this? I don't think you guys are worrying about the right things here. But if you're going to sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? Backup dancers. I need a band, of course. Oh. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. Ba band? What are we going to do? Whoa, whoa. There's no way we can pull off something like that. I have some experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. Of course. I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Naoto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. I've never really played it, though. Oh, wait. I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. Accidentally. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another guitar. Lol. Hmm. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place. For dinner parties and such. Some kind of instrument? Oh, boy. Then it's decided. What am I going to be playing? Trumpet? I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. Oh, no. Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. I have connections. Maybe. Oh, God. So, what are we going to do with these? I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. What is that? 
the fucking gong? It's a gong. Well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. <laughs> um, I don't think that's gonna really matter in this case. Playing the gong. <laughs> Yosuke, try holding these! Huh? The fucking Morocco. I see. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. <laughs> All right. Persona! Canonically, Naoto is apparently... What? Wait, I can't summon it here. Damn. I'll choose this then. That's like my waist size. <laughs> look, look. Isn't this like my fan? I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. Fucking tambourine. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. Oh, yes. Don't underestimate me. Damn, maybe you're gonna show me how to play. I'm gonna trust you. Well then, since you two and Natsukun have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. Yeah, he seems like he'd fit. Hey, why don't I get to pick? Do you not want to play drums? If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. How does that make any sense? Because that's what you're doing when you're playing drums. <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. This is why I hate you. Hey, baby. I lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. <laughs> I'm allergic to fucking Teddy. Uh, so that leaves Yukiko and me? Yukiko and I, Chie. Yukiko and I. You two. Um, how about the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see. What looks easy? The fucking face. The fucking Teddy face. I hate it. Doesn't this at least look like a band? Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. I literally play the trumpet for the band. It's not doing anything. Okay, Chie, you're supposed to buzz with your lips. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> and Yukiko, do you have your read in? Are you retarded? right through that's how it is for everyone when they start out anyway we don't have much time so let's start practicing mm, what's with all the tadpoles on this paper oh no we should have left teddy out of this oh yeah i don't know how to read music <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to transfer schools after all. Way to guilt trip us, dickweed. You all practice on your own until it gets dark, and then you meet after uh, meet again tomorrow. So I, j I just don't get time. No time for myself here. Oh, welcome home, big bro. <sighs> I get most people don't know how to read music. All right, that's fine. Whatever. Don't know how to read music. 
listen, I, I can't sight read or sight like play music. I, I can't even properly read music. I don't know like the difference between like the bass and the treble. I know how to read treble. Point being. I feel like the symphonic band class should have like guides on the wall. You know how like you, 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 the, the fucking face and like the all good boys something something all cows eat grass. Uh, um, you know what I mean. Anyway, you want to chill, Nanaka? Oh, wait. Um, is there anything we can do outside? We probably want to hang out with people outside. Because we want to advance social links. See if there's any people to hang out with. I don't know. I never bothered, like... Like, I know the timing that fucking the notes are. That's the most I've bothered to do sight reading. I, I wanted to be a pianist when I was younger. But that kind of fell through because I got too busy with school. And there was not a piano anywhere around. <laughs> Nor was there a keyboard. We don't need to increase any of those these, do we? Boost the effects of eating Chinese food more. Dude, it's so sad that you get this so late in the game. That would have been so nice. We don't really need any of these, actually. I guess we could, uh, it's, I don't know, man. Cultivates your understanding. Wait, is it Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays that you can work at the hospital? I can't work at the hospital today, right? Am I crazy? Oh, I can spend time with the cat. Okay, let me let me check to make sure I can't go to the hospital. Real quick. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Okay. We are spending time with the cat. This is very important. All right, good. Thank you. <clears throat> Once more from the top. One, two, three, four. Huh? That wasn't me, I think. That wasn't me either. I mean, I can't get any sound at all out of this. I can tell. 
A hip and young audience yearns for the element of surprise in music as well. Why is he here? A bizarre sound suddenly rings out. An overturning of the expected cliches found in today's sound. You get it? Where's my gun option? Oh, I get it. That means Teddy did it, doesn't it? Huh? That reaction overturned my expectations. Why don't we take a break? We've been at this since morning. Good idea. My fingers are all stiff. Nice follow-up now, Chan. I think I'm falling for you. Yeah, you're gonna be falling off of a roof soon. If you keep it up. Let's just ignore this bear. Thank you. Are we really going to manage this? I'm starting to get the feeling that it's impossible no matter what we do. There's just not enough time. Tell me about it. Everyone is silent. Hey. It ain't over till it's over. Sensei! I... I want to play in a band! If it's over, then it's over for Yosuke, too! That means it's over for me! And I can't bear to face that! <laughs> oh, it's gonna be over for you, alright. I don't want to know that you're only doing this because you're selfish. But you've got a point. If we give up, it all ends there. That's right. Everything would have been for nothing if we give up now. Real brawl doesn't begin until you got your back to a wall. Uh, we're not talking about a brawl it's here. It's a metaphor, Yosuke. Jesus Christ. I'll do it too. It's not just about Yosuke now. I'll simply feel angry at myself if I give up. Don't worry, Yosuke Senpai. I agreed to do this, so I'll do it. I didn't say anything pathetic like, I'll do what I can. I'm going to get a huge crowd, no matter what, and they will go home satisfied. After they bought, buy all of the amazing goods at Juness. Please, I just need your help to do it. I feel like there's going to be some unforeseen consequences here, where all the businesses in the shopping district are going to fucking close down because this is going to go too well. Wow. Now that's how a pro delivers a team-boosting speech. <laughs> well then, should we resume our practice? Yeah, all right. All right, let's do this! I love... I did it! I did it! So this isn't broken after all! <laughs> I wonder what violin is like. Okay, let's try putting your music together and I'll sing along. Well, wait a sec. Can't we get a little more practice before we try doing that stuff? Playing for the real reset. I mean, I'm all for that. Don't think of it like that. I'm seeing how hard you're trying and I don't want to just sit and watch you practice without me anymore. Here goes. One, two, three, four. Oh. That... didn't that sound pretty good? <gasps> that was actual music! Yeah, it felt good. It seems there's hope after all. The band has practiced hard and overcome many obstacles that dared face them. But now is their time to truly shine. I don't know, don't you guys think there's a little too much percussion going on? I don't know, maybe we could stand to lose some of it. All they have to do is discard whatever remaining fear holds them back, and a lifetime of public adoration awaits! Hell no! We've 
already been on a TV show. A midnight one. <laughs> Maybe you guys have. <laughs> I was discarding my clothes more than I was discarding my fear. For me, it was like discarding my public image anyway. Not like you really had one, Kanji. Let's be fucking honest here. Come on, everyone. Let's cheer up, okay? And you! You have a bunch of stuff lined up, but you're still only playing the tambourine. <laughs> Haven't you heard the phrase, a clever bear conceals his claws? I'm going to play a special little bear formance of my own and charm all the girls. No. No, you aren't. Because you're going to fucking ruin this. For that all of us. That about a hawk, not a bear. And don't even think about it. We don't have the skills to ad-lib. Do you understand me? We're doing this exactly like we practiced. Got it? What? If you don't, then I'll make sure you pay for all the topsicles you've eaten during breaks at work. Just like we practiced. Got it? Well, let's take it from the top one more time. Keep up that energy that we had before. Remind me, Popsicle is... Tofu Popsicle? Everyone's hard work is slowly taking shape. You practice late into the night. Uh, for the actual performance tomorrow. You're back. So you're home. Yeah, we are. Harvest. <laughs> but you didn't have any seedlings. You look at the McClunky and think about how delicious hey. it would be raw. Won't become closer yet. Um, what are our social links right now with, uh, Dojima? Ryotaro Dojima is ranked 7. It's pretty good. We should go see if, uh... We should go see if there's anyone outside to hang. Maybe a certain hanged man. A one hanged man. Get it? <laughs> nah, there's nobody. Maybe we can get some fish. Yo, you want fish? Yo, I'm your fish pimp. Huh? Which of these do we want? Does it really matter? I have no clue. I mean, I know you trade these with the pub lady, but, like, are any of these used for good trades? Like, do I want any of these in particular? Probably king yo. All right. Oh, okay, so you get to choose now. You get to choose which ones you give her. Okay. So it, it's not like a one-time thing. Why did I go to the riverbank? Hmm. 
mean, there's not really much left to do at night. I guess we will hang out with, uh, Ryo Taro. Hey! Ah. Spend time talking with Dojima. Dojima. Do gamer, more like. What a gamer. Oh boy. Everybody ready? Crap. The crowd's a lot bigger than I expected. Don't say stuff like that. You're making me even more nervous. Uh, our costumes okay? I mean, I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms. Even worse than the winter ones. What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. The clothes we've been wearing all summer won't work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Oh, crap. I can't stop my legs from shaking. You'll be hitting the skins more than a bare knuckle boxer. Yeah, and you're going to be hitting pavement after falling 10 stories. You, you shut your stupid bear trap. I don't need to hear this. You've been on TV before right now, Tokun. Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. The last time I played for a crowd was a piano recital when I was young. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy too. <laughs> what, what motion is Teddy doing with his fucking hands? It's making me uncomfortable. Oh, I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous too? Oh. Pfft. Oh yeah. This always, always before something big. Stomach's been acting up. Yeah, I hear that. Mine too. But there's no time for that right now. I used to get that before streaming. Yosuke, are you going to have another accident? Like a total leakage? What? Yosuke, did you piss yourself? What do you mean by another? Just shut up. Yosuke. Are you, are you, are you a pissy pants baby? Huh? Did someone just... Everyone, can you gather around for a second? Y yeah, got it. Your hearts are all racing, right? So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. Don't think about doing everything exactly right. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. Rise, John. When I say who's ready, you say we are, okay? Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full-blown, one-time-only performance. Now who's ready? We are! Hell yeah. Fired up and ready to go! Now listen up. We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? <laughs> All right, let's do this! Here goes! Yeah! Yeah! Oh boy, anime. No.
Nice. Except for that one part with Teddy. Encore! Encore! They're asking for an encore. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't think about that. We only know one song! What do we do now? There are only two things we can do. Ignore them and leave, or play the same song over again. Maybe we can have Risa explain our situation and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. No. Mm. I saw that guy before. Ah, I'm getting fired up! Hey, Teddy? Don't do it, Teddy. This is the best part of being a live performer! I was really hoping he was just going to faceplant. Stupid Teddy. We can't play without him. Oh, I beg to differ. Hey, hey, why don't we all dive into the crowd? They might just carry us out of here and we can escape this awkward situation. Yeah, no, someone's, someone's gonna like lose a piece of clothing. <laughs> Stage dive? Hey, don't sound so excited! Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. <laughs> Lamau, just jump onto the crowd. <laughs> then what are we gonna do? Do we have any other way out? I like how we've been, like, just sitting up here talking about this for, like, the last two minutes. If you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it. Uh, all right. I'll show you what it means to be a man. Oh, no. Kanji's going to Kanji's going to be the one to face point. Hey, wait, you idiot. They actually dived. They just di I didn't know it was possible to stand on your own face. You and your friends have become legends among your peers. Enough people have gathered at Juness that you consider this mission accomplished. At least, so you tell yourself. We can pretend like diving was like planned. Welcome back. And like, the other two just tripped or something. <laughs> Seems very fresh. You left it alone. Just pretend. Just pretend. It's fine. Alright. That was pretty climactic, I'd say. Let's go see if, uh... Someone's hanging around. Any gamers? Any gamers? Oh, yeah, yeah. Any gamers? Doesn't look like it. All right. Well. I think that was a good amount. Ugh. And I think that was a good stream. Overall, pretty nice. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Birthday bash. Michael, it's your birthday today. Cake and ice cream is on its way. And Michael, such a good boy, this dear. Open up your gift. Wow, we all cheer. 